Beat Culture, L up here. I am excited to show you guys Contact 8. Real quick, this is the new design, this is the new look. If you want the classic view, you still have it. It's still here. But for the duration of this video, moving forward, we're going to go to the new look because I actually think it's dope in my opinion. Now, first things first, if we go to the library, this is how we browse for whatever you need. So if you're on the computer, you can definitely click on instruments and all your instruments will pop up. And here's all of your tagging. You can go via brand, sound type, or character. You can hit the combine tab and it will give you the instruments that are combined. Here's the tools and this is the new section where we have chords and phrases. And then leap is where we have the new stuff, of course. And then we have loops. So you can pull loops from anywhere, any any of the, the packs, expansion packs that you have, including the new ones, Soul Gold. That's the first one I'm seeing right off rip. I have a shot of the complete control mark three and we'll be doing a lot of controlling from the keyboard. I'll basically be going back and forth, but if you have the mark three, this is how you are able to browse everything. I, I try to do the best I can in getting you guys a good angle. Here on the keyboard, it's the same deal as what you see in the on the computer, but we can move along. And the first thing I'm gonna actually go for is a leap product. If I go to Afro Beats, we can pre-hear that. Okay, say we like that. So this is the new leap. Everything leap involved there, it can lay out the same way. And we have pretty much loops across this range here. So from C3 all the way to C5 and maybe one above it. I'm an octave up, hit that very last one, it goes up to D, C, or D5, right? So these are, these are pretty much loops. And for some of us, we are familiar with this workflow. The black keys on top of them are effects. So, so that's like a forward, a reverse. like a stutter effect this is pitching up an octave pitch down i'm not sure what that is but it definitely creates like some stutter like 1632s resolution type deal this sounds like a a reverse of some sort with some effect to it and then you have whatever that is <laughs> now I haven't learned how to change any of these I don't know if, if you can change them to, to make them your own I'm pretty sure there is I haven't gotten that far and the oh this is how you change everything oh okay here we go okay you can choose to use the patterns that are there or you can actually chop them and play it like it's an instrument you know what i mean or you can just lay on it you know what i mean and then to come up here If you click on something, you have access to the sample or the loop. And just like anything else, this is a, a full on sampler where you have the option to do whatever you want. 
so for instance if you were using this as a one shot if that's what you so desire you could just take this in deal and put place it right here and becomes your one shot or for other cases you may want it to start at a certain point and loop between I'm sorry you may want it to loop between these markers right here and this works for like something like this so let's do that to this all right so that say say that the, so that there was a loop here you know it was doing something but we now we're turning this into a instrument so now let's click over to single the other effects and whatnot in here change it to sound totally different but you're not limited to that right we oftentimes get loops and stuff and can't do much with it so now we have the option to go in and turn it into an instrument and just switch it over from group to single say we want to change that so inside of, of um, the complete control I'm gonna go to where it says one shots and I'm gonna just browse say I want that snare instead I'm gonna just load that in there Take the edge of this and shorten it down. You know what I'm saying? Then come here, change the the pitch. So we have the option to change the tonality of it and then change the tune, you know. So these are these are called beats this section i feel like it just changes the the way it sounds but this will become really apparent when you're playing with loops like that all right so let's go over to soul gold falling kit yes let's overwrite that native instruments did something right you gotta always add vocals in there somewhere all right so let's let's come in here and grab an instrument real quick I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the first one no so this is an old instrument session strings all right cool so we're gonna go back to the browser and we're gonna select the tool let's play with chords all right so let's go with that do you want to replace yes so now we got this section here at the top is it's called tools and then at the bottom half is called instrument right and that's if you're looking at the computer the plug-in deal but yeah So that's what it sounds like without this two here. We're gonna turn it on. All right, took a second for it to load. So if I if I'm coming up with something, man, our live stream is gonna be so lit, bro. Then come in here if we want to strum it. We 
Got a little human to it. We could change the timing. This is dope. If you go here, click on the where the chords is, you can actually randomize the chords or you can search exactly what you want. What about phases? Yes, let's load that up. So when you are using phrases, it it is a a tool that is pretty creative. Each key you press, it renders different things that could be useful. And because I have the complete control, I have access to the lit areas that it supports. So as long as I'm hitting the keys where it has a light above it, it means it's active. Anything above that or below that, I can't access, but I can see it corresponds with what's on the screen here. So, and then, you know, you can randomize things. You know, you can change the octave and or you can change it. You know I mean, and then you can randomize like this as well. You know what I'm saying? You come here and change things accordingly. You know what I mean? You have the library to do that. Say we want to change that one. Change things around, like spin it. This deals with this the swing. <laughs> Kinda cool. Change which is accessing the dynamics. So say we say mod wheel. For something like this, I think I would grab this and turn this into a MIDI. Yeah, cause I can grab this here and throw this in my my doll. You know what I'm saying? Just throw that out right there in the thing, the Ranger. Change the notes. Um, chop them, whatever. It's MIDI, right? So at that point, it becomes my at my description of as to what I feel needs to happen next. So, yeah, double double click, single.
Alright, so let's hit it with the uh, Conflux, which is one of the newer instruments. I'm excited about this, of course. And we got the Phrases tool on here. I'm going to change the chord. Of course, like I said, like I said, we can choose to bring that in. I'll just bring it in one of my deals here. Let's bring it in a track like this, like so. Mess with some uh, some effects. bring it inward we're going to take the start of this we're just kind of building our own little one shot situation here because we can you know what I'm saying let's bring it closer then you know you can do other things like this create create your own stuff and, and layer it put it inside the the sample inside of complete eight and do something further So we're going to go to the file project panel and we're going to see if we could just drop this in contact. We're going to pull this up. I'm going to shift this over a little bit so we can just drag this file in. Bam. Actually, I don't know if it just, can I just create a new one? Okay. Drop the sample. Drop the sample key on the on the specific key. Bam. Let's do that. Right. So it's on this. So we double click. All right. Now we are here. I want this to loop, which is by doing this. And I can, you know what I mean, do what we was doing before, like take this and adjust it, however. But I actually want, I mean, you can actually do this too. Let's see what that sounds like. We're gonna mute this track because we're gonna throw it in there ourselves. You know what I'm saying?
if we want the delay, we got to. Uh, yeah, let's do straight, I guess. Let's turn it up some because it wasn't really doing much. So if we come here. I'm turn those delay up. See what happens. I just add added some effect to it. And then I'll leave you with this Katara. It's pretty dope. I'm Ella, B Culture. Remember lifestyle governed by art. If you want to know more about this, you got to be subscribed because we're going to cover this on its own. Pretty amazing stuff here.